Is it in a bubble, Bill? And I ask because I wonder if it is in a bubble and it does pop, what's going to be the spillover effect into other asset classes, into bonds, into stocks, into currencies? Well, you know, the going up doesn't seem to have affected uh, asset prices and bonds uh, uh, significantly. Uh, anytime any bubble pops, however, it's an indication that uh, you know, something else may follow. And, and so I, I think it pays to be cautious in terms of you know, not only buying it, but uh, following it uh, as it moves up and then uh, you know, potentially moves back down. So when bubbles pop, uh, whether they're small and relatively insignificant in terms of the total credit of, of global credit, you know, I, I think it's a potential forerunner for other assets. And so, um, you know, investors should be careful. And this is a great point, actually, Bob, because you highlight this in your investment outlook when you look at the difference between cash and credit and say, look, when we start to see investors turning more to cash versus uh, on cash equivalents over credit, then there's the potential here for some kind of liquidity breakdown in the system. And, and that's actually how you mentioned Bitcoin as one of those cash equivalents. Is that the prism upon which investors should be looking here at Bitcoin as perhaps that divergence now between cash and cash equivalents and and credit. Yeah, I think investors, well, investors are uh, looking at it as an investment at the moment, uh, as a, uh, a mania that's uh, fulfilling, uh, you know, upward and upward price movements. And so it's not really a, a currency alternative at the moment, but uh, with low interest rates, and in many cases, you know, four to five trillion dollars worth of negative interest rates, ultimately investors, and I'm talking about small investors, I'm not talking about institutions that have to invest at negative interest rates, but small investors have a choice and they can go to cash and they can go to the mattress or they can go to Bitcoin. And so, you know, that perhaps is the, uh, you know, the foundation for this movement, not necessarily at 16000 or 17000 dollars of Bitcoin, but maybe uh, at its beginning, you know, down below $1,000.